for those that were still there to be able to come out. Now, you know what they did? They kicked the ladder down. <laughs> we don't want you over here. <laughs> See, I can't come over here with y'all. Y'all have, I was supposed, wait a minute, I was supposed to be. They failed to maintain <laughs> proper connection to their heritage, thereby allowing that community to fail. You sound like Donald Trump. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, then, then you be giving us your representatives, so we want to know who we vote for. No, nah, you know I'm gonna be me. I, I gotta keep it. I, I gotta keep it real. real you. Well, and, thank you. You know what? And I, I love it. And I think, uh, for instance, you know, I hate to call his name, but in his prime before he did the um, New Jersey Gate, Doug Christie. I really liked him before he <laughs> he did that New Jersey gate when he shut that bridge down. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He shut the bridge down. He shut the bridge down. down. And that ruined his chance for being president. I really did, because you know what? He spoke his mind. He he didn't bite his tongue and he spoke his mind. And I I, I like a leader like that. They're gonna take the sting out. You know how President Obama, he's finally starting saying things now. I guess in his last term because he knows there's nothing they can do about it. He's lamed up. Yeah, so he he, he he gets a few jabs in every now and then. And believe it or not, old W. Bush, he used to get them in all the time. Mm -hmm. He used to say everything with a band-aid on the side of his face. Because <laughs> <laughs> he cut himself shaving. Uh, but you have to have people like that. Yeah. But not truthful to them. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't need your rhetoric. Our oh, fluff, no, no. Foo -foo. We, we need something behind that no. to support it. And I, I, I don't need all of that you saying, well, you know, hey, I, I, I totally agree with everything you're saying. No, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, I don't agree with everything you say. <laughs> hey, but I do want to invite everybody to come down to the mayoral debate that's going to be held at the Civil Rights Museum. Oh, and, yeah. uh, this. And I'll get into this mode. Then. Okay, go ahead. Uh, but they're going to be having a mayoral debate at the Civil Rights Museum on Monday. Uh, starts at, I believe it's from 7 to 9, and it's going to be televised on WMC TV Channel 5. So even if you cannot make it down to the Civil Rights Museum or you can't get in, you should be able to um, tell them that, uh, or you should be able to look at it on. Seven p.m. Yes, this Monday. This Monday. Oh, good. The tenth. I have to come in there. Yeah. You have to have tickets to get in. I don't think so. It's gonna be packed. I got a media pass though. Okay. Well, come on down. Put my media pass out. Come on down. The Unleashed Voice, we here. Open up this. I almost cussed, dope. <laughs> uh, where can I get a sign from? Mike Williams sign. And, I just got my signs Go today. Ahead. I just got my signs today. Uh, and I'm so excited, man. I am excited because, you know what, I just want to have fun. Mm -hmm. I want to make this a campaign of the people. It yeah. has been of the people because mm -hmm. people have been blessing me. Mm -hmm. uh, and next week, I will start distributing my signs and cool. putting my signs out. So. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, for supporting me and for just showing me love. Well, you are the only candidate uh, that's running for mayor who have uh, taken up on this invitation and who have had the uh, the courage and the uh, work all to show up on our show. So we thank you for showing up. But well, thank you for inviting me. And, and, I, and I promise you this: when I am elected, because that's I, what I'm, because speak I, it because I will be speak it. When I'm elected, right, right. I'm coming back. Come on back. Right. Hey, we're going to hold you to that. I'm going to You don't have to hold me to anything. He'll call me. Oh, don't you worry. You said you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be able to you, let you use our soundboard to connect with our community so that everybody will understand. And I think that this should not be your last interview. Sure. I think that they should have you on that new 98.5 mix. I have a good friend, Dr. K that has a show on this station to get you over there to come over there and talk to the okay. Hispanic community. Okay. So I think you should be able to get out and 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 be invited to K97. Mm -hmm. You should go to the other one too. So everybody can get a chance to hear what you have to say. Exactly. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Well, um, I think we have three minutes. Let me push this, um, our empowerment workshop, our nonprofit organization. We have an empowerment workshop on August the 31st at 6 p.m. at number two bands. The registration is on relationshipunleashed.com. Uh, Please register. It's called Inspiring Us, Affirming Us, and Celebrating Us. It's a free event. We're looking for more sponsors. We're gonna have food, drinks, uh, great lecturing, air conditioning, great view of the Mississippi River. It's free, it's free, it's free. Sign up. We've been putting posters up. My mother went uh, working last week. 
and we're going to show you all how to do a vision board. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you do, you doing that presentation? Definitely. Okay. She's doing a presentation on the vision board. Well, uh, next week we have Senator Lee Harris here on um, next week. What side is this? Chicago. <laughs> I thought Mike might go for a little Chicago. Okay. I'm a musician, so I love music, period. Mm -hmm. Well, um, next next Saturday, we want you all to tune in. We're going to have, as David said, Senator Lee Harris is going to be in the studio with us, and we're so proud, so proud that he also accepted our invitation to come on the Unleashed Board. So mm -hmm. we're just happy that we're getting out there and using this vehicle uh, productively, and as uh, you know, we've been assigned to do. How can they donate to your campaign? You can go to MikeForMemphis2015.com, mm -hmm. and you can actually, if you have a PayPal account, you can pay through PayPal. Or you, if you have five dollars, three dollars, one dollar, two dollars, just stick it in an envelope and address it to Mike from Memphis, uh, PO Box 1732, Memphis, Tennessee 38101. How can they volunteer? Okay, you got 30 seconds. If you go, uh, PO Box. PO Box. 1732 mm -hmm. Memphis, Tennessee 38101. And if you want to volunteer, you can you need to go check my website out, people. You're All gonna right. love it. And you can volunteer through my website. And please don't ask me because I'm not gonna remember everybody. What's That's the website? Website 